Hello everyone, welcome back to Ogo Power. I'm Ogo, and this is another episode of God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, we are in the uh, Secret of, of the Sands side mission. Okay, now. Looks good. Fine. Mm. Hmm. Maybe. Uh. Oh, wait. I'm a dummy. What if I'm... Ooh, I have to get higher up. Boss. Okay, I'm here now. Uh, technically, I'm... Can I... Is there anything over here? It doesn't seem like it. Can't even go as far here and still hit it. <sighs> Is there maybe I don't know this. Do I have to do this from another angle or something? <coughs> like from here? Doesn't <coughs> seem like it. Um, yeah, I thought so, that that would not happen. Anything here? Look there. Oh. Bomb should have been okay, yeah, that's good, Just, that's good. Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. I thought so. Still, I wanted to try. You never know. Um. I guess I was at the wrong side of things. And yeah. No, there's nothing around here, okay. See at least one more of them, so got him. of course, you got them. Um, huh? Oh, one more. Mm. 
guess that was like an, a hive or something. Just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. L Lunch? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Um, yeah, I, I have to look up it if the apostrophe wasn't right or left set, but oh god, lunch. Because the last one is Sina. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is where we came from. from the surface now maybe yeah but this wasn't here before oh maybe it was part of the uh, meta we destroyed that's possible that's totally possible why did they trap it down here half are known to burrow so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends but it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. <laughs> oh, okay. So you really shouldn't go down there. Wait, is there maybe? think so okay <laughs> whispering slap it's just rinse of the realm itself okay Blessing of runic on any... Okay. Um, uh, wait, that was a wrist armor, right? No, it was a chest armor. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's a lot more strength. Oof. We'll think about it. I will think about it. Okay. 
This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Okay. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from oh, our dark sorry, guys. friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with your lad? Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. That hit. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. That hit fully in the feels. Okay, um, I don't think I will go for like, um... Hey, this seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. Okay, there was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. I will not get much more. Back to Thor and Odin's stories? Where were we? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. <laughs> what about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Old. We will finish later. So. See, you've got some relics of the dwarven resistance. I'll take them off your hands. So, um. Want something in particular? That's the one I have at the moment, right? So then it would be 22, 34, 22. Versus 34, 20. Runic and Black Brothers. I don't like the look of it, to be honest. Sure. Nothing mm. appeals to you? Not for now. And I'm unsure on how to proceed in regards to uh, armor. So oh, I'll wait on this. Uh, can't go there. The Eyes of Odin is one I can't do. So yeah. Let's go back to Sindri's house. That was strange. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. 
There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? That's... <clears throat> That's a good question. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Well, good luck out there. I'm away with you already. <gasps> okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, why not? Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's have a look at a skill. Wow, yeah, Kratos has a lot of skill points, uh, experience points again. Good, um. Nice. Atreus, 900's not that much, but... Oh. I will wait for this one. Yeah, let's go in. Not a lot else I can do. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yeah, you know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables. Fucking vegetables. From out of the dirt. That just ain't right. I mean, oh, they have great, but look at them. I just don't like the way they look. And I also don't have the. Other ones, although that wouldn't matter as much, I think. Um, I just got a strange message. I'll be back in a second. Hello, guys. Uh, sorry, I don't. That was a new failure message. But it seems like they regarded the stream, not the recording. Uh, which is not really surprising, to be honest. Especially when you think about what has happened here. Alrighty. Uh. I think the only thing we can do is move on with the story. Mm 
Yeah. So let's move on with the story. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen for carelessness. I guess it's a trio's time really again. Should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so. Stubborn, headstrong. Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Mm. Sure. Nah, Fine. not really. Sleep. Sounds great. I mean it. I mean... I do too. Think Daddy about already. stuff before acting. Already gone. Okay, yeah. And also sleeping. Uh, in German does a thing that's... Uh, uh, instead of... Uh, Deciding something immediately, sleep a night over it and think about it to see when, more or less when the emotions are gone, uh, how do you see the thing that's bothering you or is happening or whatever. Holy frick. Uh, okay, I think I will end the episode here since this is interesting to say the least so i want to thank you guys very much for watching and hope we'll see you again in the next one when we will be in loki's dream or something bye bye